Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today's story is a North American folktale. Uh, it's one of the Revolutionary War, and it happens to be centered on Staten Island. This is Miss Britain's Poker. The maids of Staten Island wrought havoc among the royal troops who were quartered among them during the Revolution. Near quarantine, in an old house, the Austin Mansion, a soldier of King George hanged himself because a Yankee maid who lived there would not have him for a husband, nor any gentleman whose coat was of his color, and until ghosts went out of fashion, his spirit, in somewhat heavy boots, with jingling spurs, often disturbed the nightly quiet of the place. The conduct of a damsel in the old town of Richmond was even more stern. She was the granddaughter, and a pretty one, of a farmer named Britain. But though Britain by descent and name, she was no friend of Britain's. Albeit she might have had half the officers in the neighboring camp at her feet, if she had wished them there. Once, while mulling a cup of cider for her grandfather, she was interrupted by a self-invited Myrmidon, who undertook, in a fashion rude and unexpected, to show the love in which he held her. Before he could kiss her, the girl drew the hot poker from the mug of drink and jabbed at the vitals of her amorous foe, burning a hole through his scarlet uniform and printing on his burly person a lasting memento of the adventure. With a howl of pain the fellow rushed away, and the privacy of the Briton family was never again invaded, at least while cider was being mauled. And that is the North American tale, the New York or Staten Island tale, of Miss Britain's Poker, a young woman standing up for herself against the invading Britons. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, and iHeart Radio. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every weekday morning. Thanks for listening. <laughs>